In this video, we're going to look at when movements in nominal and real exchange rates are proportional. The goal is to show, holding domestic and foreign prices constant, movements in the nominal exchange rate are proportional to movements in the real exchange rate. For example, if the nominal exchange rate increases by 10%, we're going to show the real exchange rate increases by 10%, assuming prices of goods are held constant. The nominal exchange rate of the yen per U.S. dollar increases from 100 yen equals 1 U.S. dollar to 120 yen equals 1 U.S. dollar. The percentage increase in the nominal exchange rate using the percentage change formula, 120 minus 100 all divided by 100 and then multiplied by 100 is 20%. So the dollar appreciated by 20%. So let's, what's going to happen to the real exchange rate? The real exchange rate at 100 yen equals 1 U.S. dollar is as follows. We're going to take the price of a U.S. hamburger, we're going to assume it's $5, and we're going to convert that into yen. So given our original exchange rate of 100 yen equals 1 U.S. dollar, we're going to take this 5 and multiply it by 100. So we convert that 5 U.S. dollars into 500 yen. Let's assume that the price of a Japanese hamburger is 1,000 yen. So the real exchange rate is going to be 500 yen divided by 1,000 yen, or 0 0.5 Japanese burgers per one U.S. burger. So that is a real exchange rate at the nominal exchange rate of 100 yen equals one U.S. dollar. Now let's calculate the real exchange rate when the nominal exchange rate increases to 120 yen equals one U.S. dollar. The price of a U.S. hamburger under this nominal exchange rate is going to be 5 times 120 or 600 yen. Holding the price of the Japanese hamburger at 1,000 yen, the real exchange rate then is 0 0.6 Japanese burgers per one U.S. burger. The percentage increase in the real exchange rate, our new real exchange rate is 0 0.6, our old real exchange rate was 0 0.5, so the percentage change gives us a 20% increase. So we show that the nominal and real exchange rate increased by 20%. Again, the underlying assumption here is that the price of the U.S. hamburger is still 5 U.S. dollars and the price of the Japanese hamburger is 1,000 yen, so holding prices constant. Okay, that's it.